Good morning and welcome to Rocket Travels. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, I'm just happy all the time, man. Anyway, I'm busy, man. With my new bit of kit, uploading um, my vlogs. But we've been in this guest house for seven days. Check this out, look. There is all the boss's kit. We've done a bit of shopping as well because we're moving into our house uh, tomorrow. So we've been in this guest house for seven days. I bought the boss a bicycle look, so she can cycle down the shop. Check it out. Super cool. So uh, yeah, we've been here seven days. The first sort of, uh, I'm gonna go outside. It's a bit brighter. Um, oh, morning beastie. There's Beastie, ain't going nowhere. Yeah, um, we've been here like seven days, man. And um, yeah, the first five days we're busy shopping, pricing things up. Uh, but today and yesterday, yeah, we're getting a little bit anxious to get in our house now. Um, tomorrow's the day. Uh, we're hoping uh, that we can get in early. Uh, the lady who's uh, renting the house uh, is clearing it out today. There's, there's a load of belongings from someone else who was in there and um, they just haven't had the time to uh, sort it out, uh, get rid of the stuff, uh, family commitments, etc. So uh, the, the day is tomorrow. We've ordered furniture, sofa, fridge, freezer, uh, TV, uh, all sorts of gadgets, microwave, air fryer, toaster. <laughs> You know the drill. Uh, so yeah, at the moment we ain't got nowhere to live. Uh, but um, yeah, should all be good tomorrow. And um, yeah, I'm excited to move in our own house. I've been watching uh, another YouTuber. We mentioned him later on when we move in. But we basically sourced the uh, the area and the house uh, down to him. So I'll uh, pay credit to him tomorrow. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. So today, um, I'm not sure what we're gonna do. <laughs> well, we're going to let you know our situation, but uh, yeah, we're going to have a wander around the village. It's Sunday, so um, yeah, we'll have a little. We're going to just go for breakfast in a minute. You can uh, we'll take you down to breakfast, show you where we go for breakfast each day, and then uh, we'll have a little wander down the village. Hey, check out the breakfast, mate. Mm -hmm. That looks super. Have got how more? How you say? How more? Oh, there you go. It's basically stir fried uh, noodles, pork. <laughs> and um, egg and rice. <laughs> Happy days. <laughs> Here comes the boss's breakfast. <laughs> Check it out. Yeah, we've got fried egg on there as well. Fried egg, moo, vegetable, <laughs> rice. It's looking good. Okay, we have done breakfast. Breakfast was superb. Uh, I'll ask the boss out. She's busy talking to a lady. But uh, I'm just going to wander across the road, show you um, this uh, little place here. The food's amazing. I mean, I finished my dinner, what, 20 minutes ago, and uh, I can still taste the flavours in my mouth. Uh, if anyone watches this and you're in Hua Hin, whatever, whatever your situation, uh, it's Tipawan, and uh, it's just up from the traffic lights uh, as you enter the village, and uh, just past 7 Eleven. Uh, not as you go into the village, the main part of the village, but uh, if you turn sort of like a, uh, a straight left, uh, you'll come across this place. Uh, it's next to a fancy cart uh, resort where we're staying. And uh, the food is absolutely exceptional. They do have some uh, pictures on there. So, uh, but the lady will make anything you want and the flavors, the flavors are absolutely amazing. How much was breakfast? How much was breakfast? 150. Oh wow. So we had a, what did we have? Uh, the boss had a belly pork with vegetable and rice. And uh, I had a uh, al mu with egg and rice. And we had two cold drinks. That was 150 baht. So um, generally, uh, I'm gonna be, once we get in our house, I'm gonna do cost of living, weekly, daily, monthly, cover everything. But um, 
as we progress with our little life uh, settling in who we're in, uh, as long as you eat uh, with the ties and you don't eat big fancy eat out in big fancy uh, tourist type restaurants uh, down by the beach etc the harbour um, yeah you're going to be paying about 150 baht for breakfast for two that's two people so like if you're on your Todd uh, you're looking at about 80 baht which is here I, I will convert into English just for my friends uh, that's like two pounds so two pounds for full-on cooked meal breakfast and a drink um, that is, uh, I mean budget wise, that's well within my budget. Uh, our daily budget, might have mentioned it before, is going to be around 1000 to 1200 a day. Yesterday we spent about 500 baht, because uh, I, worked, I weren't feeling too good, so I didn't particularly eat a lot. So you're going to get days like that where some days you spend, you know, less than, less than your budget and sometimes more. Um, but when I do my um, weekly uh, cost of living, which is going to be 10,000 baht a week. Uh, we're going to do vlog every day, so we're going to do day one to day seven. Take out 10,000 baht on a Monday and uh, see how we go with it. And uh, vlog every day and everything we spend. Um, anyway, we're back at the, the guest house. There's a beastie. Not too sure what we're going to do today. Uh, we do need a couple of mattresses, and uh, fingers crossed we move into our house tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, we might go and check out uh, check out the mattresses today. We've seen them. Um, it's probably the last thing we need to get. We've got everything else on order. It's going to get delivered Tuesday, but we need mattresses uh, to sleep on for our first night in our house. So fingers crossed, this all goes good. Uh, we might have a drive up to the house in a bit, but for the rest of the day, I'm not too sure. My legs a bit crook, uh, but we might. I might have a little wander around the village, show you the village on a Sunday afternoon or morning or whenever I go up. Thai time. So, uh, not sure what we're doing now. Okay, <laughs> it's like about the fourth time I've walked up and down here. Uh, we're going to laundry. We're going to see where the village laundry is. So if you're living in a, a village on the outskirts of uh, Hua Hin. Uh, I heard someone mention earlier on there, it's called Canal Road, we're, we're just off. There is a canal uh, that runs at the end of the village. Uh, yeah, it's called Canal Road. That's where we are, Tipperwan. Um, Canal Road. So the boss over there has got a big bag of smellies. My stuff stinks. Because we've been in that guest house waiting to move into our house, we ain't done no washing and it's built up. Um, but like most places in Thailand, all you've got to do is step out your door. You've got a uh, Oh, lovely little breakfast place, literally 30 seconds from here. Got 7-Eleven down there and pharmacies, two pharmacies and uh, ATMs. And um, just up here, about a minute at my pace, uh, someone's selling eggs there, look, lovely eggs. 120 baht for, 120 baht for a lot of eggs. <laughs> it's like, I don't know how many was there, man. Um, yeah, so uh, come out your door and life is starting to, uh, the village is starting to wake up. Uh, there's a bar over there actually. Hello, sweaty cab. Yeah, I've seen some guys uh, drinking there, so I might have a beer there later on. Yeah, why not? It looks very popular as well. You see a lot of expats sat there. Uh, so yeah, I might check that out later on. Got to settle into this village, uh, start meeting people. Uh, yeah. We're locals now, so a uh, lady was very nice, she just gave me a wave. So um, over here, oh we've got hair cut for a man, we've got, we got a, uh, we have hairdressers and they are open on a Sunday. They're just don't close on a, a Wednesday. <laughs> so yeah, like in the UK, everything's closed on a Sunday. Well, not everything, but most things, you know, the small shops, etc. There's the laundry. So the boss is in there at the moment. Um, all the uh, all the customers' uh, laundry uh, hanging out to dry. Um, I will try and find out from the boss because they um, they price it on on uh, per kilo. So whatever your uh, washing weighs, they uh, price it per kilo. 
So uh, yeah, but it's like Sunday and the laundry's open. Fantastic, man. It's, it, Thailand's a place where just anything and everything gets done and you can get anything. Life is so much easier here. Okay, uh, the laundry, they don't do it uh, per kilo. That's unusual, where I've been before, they normally price it per kilo. Here, it's uh, seven baht per item. So um, if you've got 10 items, <laughs> you work out your maths, 70 baht, innit? So um, yeah, that to me seems uh, a little bit over the top, a little bit expensive. So uh, we might have to shop around. Okay, we are absolutely buzzing, man. Uh, went back to the, the guest house and um, yeah, we weren't too sure what we are going to do. But we've got no, all that, nowhere to live. We've been spent the last uh, seven days just laying on the bed in the evenings in, in our guest house. Uh, we've done our shopping and everything, but we have got some uh, things outstanding. Uh, we still need a couple of mattresses and uh, I need a bed. The boss has already got her bed. So um, we've just been up to our house and uh, they're moving the stuff out. Now the situation with the house is, looks like someone's moved out under, I'm not too sure what circumstances, but when we looked at the house, uh, all the, whoever lived there, all their personal stuff, everything in the house was, was uh, out of the house in the, in the carport area. So I'm not too sure the circumstances. And um, the lady who uh, was gonna be our landlady, uh, said she's going to clean clean the house up and remove everything today um, so when we went up there wasn't too sure you know whether things were going to be happening or not so um, when we went up there yeah they're moving everything out and cleaning it all up so uh, we've gone buzzing so we've come up to this uh, furniture place uh, we have shopped around for our furniture um, We've been here, there and everywhere. We've taken, listened to recommendations of places to get your furniture. And um, we made our own mind up. To be quite honest, most of it is uh, same, same, same. And it's all similar price. You can you can save yourself a little bit here, there and there. But um, yeah, just, you know, you gotta draw the line somewhere and commit. So uh, we've got things, some things from Tesco Lotus, uh, some things from another furniture stock shore store similar to this one. If we go in, uh, very similar to this one. Um, so um, we're getting our mattresses from here and getting them delivered tomorrow. So we're excited. Not too sure. Uh, we've, we've, um, I know when we went to, we bought some electrical stuff from uh, Tesco Lotus. Uh, there's no filming in there. And if you go on YouTube and have a look, no one's vlogging it because uh, there's security guards everywhere. The same, uh, same as with Macro. You can't film in there. And uh, I'm not going to do anything illegal. Uh, because I'm living here, so we want to stay squeaky clean and within the law. So abide by the law when you're in someone else's country. So um, yeah, we're buzzing. Uh, so yeah, the day's uh, progressing. So uh, it's so nice to get in our own house and uh, with our own things and our own rooms, etc. So um, yeah, we're going to take a little look in. I'm not sure. I'm going to ask them if I can film. If they say no, yeah, I'm not going to just film. I'm going to ask. I know some vloggers just go in. But uh, nah, be polite, in it, you know. So uh, let's go in and uh, see see about our mattresses and my bed. Uh, it's all good. Okay, I've just asked if I can film in here, and they very kindly said yes. So uh, it's a really nice young lad over there. He's gone now, but uh, yeah, got a nice welcome. He said, "Oh, hello. What are you looking for?" And we've already been in here, so we know what we're looking for. So we're looking for mattresses. Check out this place, man. This is super, 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 superb. If you want sofas, beds, they've got electronics, tables, chairs, wardrobes. Uh, there's some background noise. <laughs> uh, yeah, but we're getting our mattresses from here. Very good quality. So um, the boss likes the mattresses here as well. So it's all super cool. You see one? You see your mattress? That one, you know which one? I mean, look at all these many mattresses. Ship, many ship, <laughs> oh, you remember Sinkoba. us? Oh, okay. Sinkoba. It's this one, yeah? yeah? Okay. You sure? Five, five. Oh, okay. Yeah, this one's single, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, okay, the lady remembered us from um, last week. So she's straight on the mattress. Um, where's my mattress? Lady, remember my mattress? 
<laughs> well, it's about three. I think my uh, we'll go over when once we moved in. I'm going to tell you exactly uh, what it costs to uh, set up home in uh, in uh, Thailand. Cost the mattress, fridge, freezer, uh, deposit, the rent, everything. Okay, there's only one way to test the bed. Woohoo! Good night, everybody. Oh, heaven. Good night. God bless. Sleep well. <laughs> okay, this place is uh, Soy 88, uh, either just up or down from uh, Market Village, whichever way you come round. Uh, full of sofas, uh, all sorts of furniture. Like I said, there's quite a few places like this in uh, who are here and surrounding areas. Um, but uh, yeah, we keep coming back to this one. Uh, some of them, some places will just sell furniture, and, uh, but this one sells electrical goods as well. So you can get your fridge freezer from here, your washing machine, your TV, uh, office chairs. Uh, they do have office desks, uh, dining tables, and chairs. Um, like I say, I'll go over the cost of everything once we've moved in. Uh, I'm not going to chuck uh, random prices at you from here. I say we've been in here before. It's just stacked out with stuff. Everything and anything you could think of is in here. Uh, Soy 88 in uh, Central Hill Hin, next to Market Village. There are all sorts uh, cookers. Uh, we, we, we got some of our stuff from Tesco Lotus um, because it was very, very uh, similar price. And um, yeah, it come with warranties, etc. Um, there you go, look, fridges, freezers. We must have looked at every single fridge freezer that there is in Hua Hin. But with this, they were, Tesco Lotus were doing a promotion uh, and there was a lot of money knocked off their goods. And uh, a lot of people on the street and in the bars are saying Tesco Lotus. I think Home Pro um, were doing a similar deal. So you've got all your washing machines, um, dryers, Thai style and Western style. And then uh, if you want a hoover, we're not hoovering. Um, I'm not hoovering, certainly not. Uh, air conditioning, they sell air conditioning. Uh, air conditioning units, uh, TVs. Uh, price wise, everything's similar, similar, same, same. So it doesn't really matter where you go. We've got fans, this lovely yay has been showing us everything. Excellent service. I don't know where the young lad's gone who was uh, checking out my channel. I might get a new subscriber. But um, yeah, they got uh, rice cookers, uh, kettles, uh, air, dry air fryers, <laughs> air dryers. So uh, yeah, this place is uh, superb. So uh, if you want to get your furniture, yeah, get yourself down to this place. Not too sure what it's called. What's the name of this shop? What's the name of this shop, my friend? Have this shop have a name? What's it called? Big there you go that's what it's called i ain't got a clue my, you know what my pronunciations are like absolutely terrible that's right we're done here um let's uh sort the bill out and um that's our mattresses sorted hopefully get it delivered tomorrow morning or afternoon at some stage monday let me show you uh the building again right so this is the soy soy 88 uh there's a big hitachi sign at the top there Easy enough to find. Um, yeah, big, big furniture warehouse. It's all, all good. Right, I've got to get my wallet out. Okay, we are at the ATM. Um, we just about to pay for the furniture we just looked at. But I just thought I'd mention, um, I get things wrong, we all get things wrong. And a, uh, I'm not sure if he's a subscriber, but someone who watched my channel uh, when I was uh, a little bit unsure on how much you could get out of ATMs a day. Over the years, 21 years I've been coming here, I've always sort of bought cash because you're in holiday mode. So I need to learn how to transfer money, etc. And how to take uh, uh, bigger bigger withdrawals out. Uh, yeah, some guy very kindly made a lovely comment um, correcting uh, me and informing me that you can take out 20,000 a day, but also you can repeat that transfer so apparently you can take out 20,000, put your card back in and take another 20,000. By my maths, 40,000, yeah? So uh, yeah, 
So uh, thanks very much um, for the information. I think his name's Johnny. He has a channel, to be quite honest. Um, yeah, so um, apparently you can take out up to 40,000 a day. You just need to put your card in twice. I haven't put that into practice yet, so we don't know. So anyone watching this knows anything different. Uh, don't forget, make nice comments, guys. I've had a couple of bad ones. I just deleted them and blocked them. Not interested in negative people. I am what I am. I do what I do. It's my stage. So, um, yeah, be positive, guys. Uh, if I get something wrong, just tell me nicely. Simple, innit? Be nice. Anyway, uh, we're back off to pay for the furniture. Not too sure what we're doing after that, but um, it's like a, a day in the life of an expat. So uh, the day progresses. What we do after this, I'm not sure. I fancy a Chang. It's coming up to one o'clock. So uh, yeah, it could be Chang o'clock. We'll see. What do you reckon? <laughs> Happy days. <laughs> oh man. We <laughs> I've got to vlog this, mate. <laughs> We're going out for dinner. So I've seen this uh, restaurant, it's called Bo Boy Far or something like that. I'm not too sure how to pronounce it. Anyway, we followed the sat nav and we've ended up, I don't know if you can see, there's a <laughs> we're on a military base. <laughs> we followed the uh, sat nav uh, coordinates and um, all of a sudden there's this soldier with a gun. <laughs> Obviously not gonna film that. So, um, like, is, it, is this the way to a restaurant, mate? <laughs> he can say, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've, we've had to come through like an army base, Thai army base. Sweaty cap. So we've come through a Thai army base uh, to get to the restaurant. Oh, man. The, the boss is stressing. She, she see the soldier with a gun. Wish we could have filmed it, man. But check out the old, look. I know it's army or there's a there is a it's next to the airport so it might not be army it might be um uh thai uh what do they call it <laughs> oh lots of words people people fly uh airplanes um air force that's what it is that's what i'm thinking anyway we're going for uh we're, we're, we're going to end this vlog in style because we're living on a budget so we uh been eating street food and Thai cafeteria eatery type food. We haven't been anywhere decent, nice. You know, with nice, they're all nice, but uh, this place is really nice. It's down by the down by the beach, and the food menu look good, and it's very reasonable as well. So <laughs> the boss is like, oh man, we we were laughing so much. You <laughs> see the guy with a gun. <laughs> oh man, I'd love to have filmed it, but obviously not going to point a, a camera at. Uh, a soldier anyway we're going in here to be quite honest if this turns out um, super cool um, could be a good recommendation I can see the sea already but it's basically right right smack in all where all the accommodation is for the soldiers uh, that's the name of the restaurant um, yeah I don't uh, I can't uh, translate Thai but uh, yeah, we're going here. I found this place on uh, Google Maps. So uh, we're going in. Sweaty cap. Okay, boss. <laughs> There's not many phalangs here. Yeah, it looks lovely, this place, man. Sweaty cap. Sweaty cap. Uh, yeah, it looks good. <laughs> looks like, looks like. I don't know. I don't know what to make of this so far, but uh, yeah, it looks good. Yeah, we'll the yeah, just take a seat somewhere. Okay, we're back on. <laughs> there was some. They were banging out music in the restaurant, uh, but there's other seating areas, etc. So we're gonna have a little look around. This is stunning. Check it out. <laughs> it's an army base with a with a restaurant. Super, super cool, man. The boss has found a little shelter. Are we going in there? Huh? You want to sit there? You sit where you like. Look at this. It's like, it must be Air Force. Um, must be Air Force, because there's a little aeroplane over here. Yeah, I can sit there, yeah. Yeah, we're no rush. It's only about five o'clock. We don't do late late uh, doors. We do early doors. But um, have one down here. 
Oh, I love this place, man. Best thing, no Falang. I'm the only Falang here. It's all mine. This could be my little heaven. Just come down here once a week. There's like loads of seating. I should imagine when it's busy, this is uh, superb. Um, not too, oh, I can see the soldiers at the gate again. Uh, not going to film them. I'm going to stick a GoPro in uh, a soldier's face with a gun in his hand. But uh, you just have to trust me, there is soldiers here with guns. But uh, check out the old aeroplane coming up to you. Superb views of um, Hu Hin as well. Bet you can see me limping. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, look, check this bad boy out. Whoa, look at that. Look at that, Royal Thai Air Force. Superb, man. Yeah, let me definitely. Royal Thai Air Force. Superb, man. Buddy cap. <laughs> Look at this bad boy. Loving it. Anyway, check out the view from here as well. The tide's in at the moment. Whoa! Boss is happy. She likes it here. <laughs> oh, man. Up on the wall. Is that a good idea? Look at those couple of little fishing boats. Look at that. This is where we live. Miles and miles and miles of uh, beautiful shoreline. I should imagine when the, when the sea goes out, the tide's definitely in. That's just like a beach all the way along there for miles and miles. Uh, I can see who hint. It's a lovely distance away. <laughs> I'm always happy when I found these places. Um, it's just like, a, I do like the uh, more What's the word for it? Tranquil, peaceful, tourist free. <laughs> I'm not a tourist anymore. I'm an expat. Well, practicing one at the moment, I think. But um, yeah, the boss has got the menu out. We got our little seat. And we are loving this place, man. This is going to be a loving end to a lovely day. Uh, we got loads done today. Been super, super busy. I've had a couple of changs actually. Do you like my t-shirt? Death Cult. You ever heard a band called The Cult? She sells Sanctuary and all that. But they were called Death Cult before The Cult. They were called Southern Death Cult as well. A bit of history for you. Paul Ian Ashby, and Billy Duffy. Superb band man. Spaddy cap. So uh, there's the boss. You have the menu? Uh, the, uh, are you oh, you already ordered Chang? Yeah. It's okay, Big Chang's good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Unfortunately, they don't have a... Uh, Chang Lek, so I have to have Chang Chang Yai. <laughs> I'm so excited I can't get my words out. Anyway, we're gonna have a look at the menu and I think we've stumbled across our little uh, weekend once a week paradise. So, uh, rock and roll, man. Okay, we've just checked out the menu. It's a beautiful menu. It is a lot of seafood, and I don't do seafood, but. I'm trying squid and prawn. Kung, uh, I've ordered, I've ordered uh, a curry. I've ordered, asked if they could do it like 50-50 because I want to try squid. Uh, I've got to move on with my food thing. You know, I'm, I'm one of those uh, kids that was born up, brought up on a packet of crisps and a bread roll for tea, you know what I mean? Uh, so I've got to change my eating habits and try things. So I've got, um, looking at the menu, yeah, I'd like to try some of the fish. Uh, but on this trip to this restaurant, uh, I'm going to go for the prawn, uh, prawn, prawn and squid curry. So we've asked if we can do it 50/50. So 50% prawn, 50% squid. Uh, just so I can try the squid. I'm all right with prawns, um, but I thought rather than order a complete squid dish, and um, it's a pile of you know what, um, mix it up. So I'm sure I like it. I have tried squid before, it's not the first time, uh, but I'm always weary of it, I don't know why, don't look nice to me man. <laughs> anyway, we have ordered, and what have you ordered? What have you ordered? Uh, Boss don't know what she's ordered. <laughs> Prawn or squid? Prawn, yeah, squid. squid. Uh, we got the same, blue, both. Blue but, squid. Yeah, so blue the meal is going to be loads of prawns and squid. Yeah, this one. Ah, uh, right, yeah. And so it's some like a, uh, glass noodle. Ah, uh, right. Salad. So I've got rice in mine, and the boss has got um, glass noodle. 
So, uh, and my Chang's coming very soon, hopefully. So, uh, we'll give you an update once the food comes. <laughs> you can have a laugh at me trying to eat squid. <laughs> yeah, let's hope that goes all right. Our dinner is coming. Check it out, man. Let's make some room. Move the Chang. Look at this. Super. That looks really good. Move the Chang again. Wow. Super cool. Look at that. So, um, this one is um, shrimp and prawn curry. This one is uh, sweet and sour cool. To you guys, that's uh, prawn. And this is some kind of uh, papaya salad, yeah? No, not papaya. Not papaya. Uh, noodle glass. Noodle glass noodle. And this one, uh, Mr. Squid. Squid. Yeah, you can try. Doesn't that look good? We pay now, yeah? yeah. Okay, we have splashed out tonight and spent a whopping 1,020 baht on this feast, man. But it's all seafood and we've got like one, two, three, four dishes, four, four seafood dishes and, and uh, two drinks. I've got a large Chang as well. Um, give it a taste test. Okay, we're going into the taste test. This is a mixture of um, squid and a uh, kung, prawn. Uh, the prawns look big. So we're gonna give it a go. Uh, not too sure what to make of, uh, we're gonna try a prawn. Oh, these prawns are huge. I don't know if you can see this, look at the size of that prawn, man. Um, let's see if we can find a bit of squid. <laughs> yeah, like that's, is that squid? Okay. Let's give this the taste test. Okay, in there, in all that curry sauce, is a piece of squid. I'm not too sure about this. Hmm. It's all right. It's very fishy. But um, yeah, it's all right. Can't knock that. And uh, so, um, prawns the prawn. I know I'm gonna like the prawns. So uh, next dish up is we have, this is sweet and sour prawn. Okay, we are going in for this bit of prawn here I've prepared. I've chopped off the tail. We're gonna get some prawn. Check that bad boy out. The biggest, you won't get prawns like that in the UK. There's a bit of pepper there, a bit of veg, and loads of sweet and sour sauce. Big mouthful. Wow, that is superb. Uh, when I started making these vlogs, everything was okay and all right. They've gone to amazing, superb out of this world. But again, yeah, that sweet and sour is absolutely amazing. Um, no, I don't want to try your, uh, that don't look good. Even though I'm eating it myself. <laughs> the boss is trying to give me some um, like baby squid or something. I don't like the look of it. If I don't like the look of it, I ain't gonna eat it. But I've got plenty of food here for myself. So uh, we're going to crack on with our meal and then we're going to do our outro in a minute. Cheers, this food is well worth it. Like I said, 1,000 baht, 1,020 baht for large chang. What do you have? Lemon. She had a lemon, lemon, fizzy lemon drink. And we got four seafood dishes with rice and some condiments. That's not so bad and the place is really super cool, man. Uh, this this location cheers okay <laughs> if you want to know what I'm laughing at I've had three attempts at doing this outro uh, things keep happening uh, food here is amazing seafood on a military base cool super cool Air Force Thai military Air Force base anyway without further ado SMI Yammer food here has been absolutely superb uh, looking forward to trying more sea seafood uh, push my comfort zone with the old seafood, I think, from now on. Uh, give it a go, innit? Um, can't kill you, but it might do. Never know. Anyway, that's my yammer from Rocket Travels. It's been a pleasure making this vlog today. We're moving into our new home tomorrow. We're excited. Over and out. 
Mm -mm -mm. See you later.